Greetings Earthlings, welcome back to my channel. My name is Raquel and I am just absolutely stoked that you are here today. And I also have a little bit of a confession. This is not the original intro I recorded for this video. <laughs> this is the original intro. And I know what you're thinking, Raquel, why even tell us this? Like why even mention it? Why not just use editing magic? First of all, I could never lie to you that way. And second of all, a big goal for me with this channel is I really want to present my crafting experience in a very authentic and real way. And sometimes that means illustrating the good stuff and the bad stuff. It's, it's not all good stuff. Like I get frustrated. I think we all do. Uh, a few weeks ago, I made the first part of my chess set and I made the dragon chess board, which I am so proud of. I, I can't believe how great that turned out. And like overall, that process was pretty smooth. It just took a while. So in my little noggin, I really thought the chess pieces would be the easier part of this project. Of course, I am still really excited to share with you the process and what I learned and hopefully you can learn from my mistakes all along the way. But I really wanted to re-record this intro just to share with you all that sometimes things don't go according to plan, sometimes things are really frustrating, and sometimes the only way to make it to the finish line of a project is to surround yourself with really supportive and amazing and like-minded friends that believe in you and are there to give you all the high fives you need either in real life or digitally. I am so lucky and thankful that my very talented friend Luke uh, agreed to help me on this project. Luke is also making a video about the chess pieces, so I'll be sure to link to his video below. We each selected three chess pieces that we wanted to design, sculpt, mold, and cast. So I ended up selecting the knight, the king, and the queen. So let's go ahead and finally get into it, finish up these, these feelings that I have, and <laughs> let me show you the designs I came up with and the crafting process that came afterwards. So for the knight, I felt like it was pretty important to keep that piece traditional and horse-like. So my design is basically just an edgy horse with a mohawk. Now for the king, I wanted to get a bit more creative and I based my design off of the 1922 Nosferatu vampire. The design for the queen is where I went really crazy. I based her off of the frost maiden from Dungeons and Dragons, which is basically an owl creature with menacing horns. I'm not using a ton of materials for the original chess piece sculpts, just wire and foil for the armature, super sculpty, and some clay tools. Honestly, the sculpting was pretty challenging from the start. I had really underestimated how difficult it is to sculpt teeny tiny things. I got a lot of use out of these clay scraper thingies. I really pushed myself to do a lot of the sculpting in a subtractive style, much like you would if you were whittling something out of wood. When I did sculpt in an additive way, I often would get frustrated and I would accidentally squish the same little pieces over and over and over again. Fun fact, this little knight with all the delicate teeth ended up being just a tiny bit too big for the chessboard, so I had to ditch him and create a second slightly smaller knight. Making the king was a similar process of making the basic shape first and then subtracting or whittling it down. But with the addition of a few important pieces here and there. I really, really struggled to make the queen in the same style, so I ended up just sticking to what I knew, and I constructed her in an additive way with extra care and heavy use of this handy silicone tool. Once I was happy with the sculpts, I lightly brushed them all with rubbing alcohol to melt away small imperfections and my fingerprints. A quick little trip to the oven, and I was happy with how these all turned out. The Queen is definitely my favorite. 
To save myself from the certain insanity that would come from sculpting these pieces over and over again, I whipped up some silicone molds. I used Smooth On Mold Star 15 Slow, which I really like actually because it has a long working time, giving you plenty of time to fiddle with it or mix up more if you didn't quite measure out enough. If there is one thing I need to share with you all, it is that I am certainly not a silicone or resin expert, and I probably never will be. There are plenty of channels that can give you way better advice, but hopefully this video is good proof that even if you're a total crafting dummy like myself, you can give this a try too. Yummy. The nice thing about this clear container is it lets you see how not mixed up your silicone is. Hand cramp. It feels like I've been doing this for an eternity, but I can see the time on my camera and it's only been six minutes. My definition of an eternity. There's something apparently about if you pour it from a little bit higher, it helps with getting the bubbles out. I thought I designed the pieces in a way that would make them easy to cast and pop out of the molds, but I was wrong. Ah! Oh, it's a little bit broken, but only a little bit. They all broke a little bit coming out of the molds. Nothing tragic, but still a bummer nonetheless. Shit. The base broke off of this one, which is fine. I'm 100% going to have to cut this one. That's good practice. Yeah, it's... It's fine, it's fine. The resin was even more stressful to me and I honestly didn't film a ton of it because of that. This resin cures super quick and that stresses me out. Next time I'll get resin with a longer pot life. The other issue with the mold resin situation was as much as I tried, I could not get any of the queens or the knights to come out perfectly. So they had to be repaired with green stuff. In the grand scheme of things, it wasn't a big deal, but it was still annoying. Great news, everyone. We are nearing the finish line with these chess pieces and I'm so excited. So I'm about to take all of the pieces outside and use my favorite base spray primer to get them all like a really even white to cover up the green stuff as a place to start. And then with half of those pieces, I'm gonna add another spray layer of red. Little wild, I know. We're gonna do red and white chess pieces and I'm really excited about that. I think it will complement the red dragon really well. And then all I have to do is add on the faintest little bit of highlights and a little black wash and then we are done with these chess pieces. So before I show you all the finished product shot, I also just wanted to give another thankful and loving shout out to my patrons. They are another part of the support system that keeps me going when I feel really stuck or really uninspired. I do not know where I would be without your direct support to continue buying crafting supplies, but beyond that and more important to me, I am really proud of the little community we've been building in our Discord and I am so thankful for all of you. I love seeing what you're working on. It really inspires me to keep going and keep doing my best work for YouTube and beyond. So thank you for existing. Y'all are the best. <laughs> all right, now let me give you a little, a little look at our finished chess pieces. I'm so excited to be done with this project and to get to use this chess set. All right, let's take a look. This is the finished chess set and I am just over the moon with how it turned out. I think it looks really stellar and professional and cohesive. So good job me. 
Um, <laughs> I'm really looking forward to using this for many years to come. So if you have any suggestions of some sort of matte clear coat that you think would work well for a chess set, be sure to drop me a comment. I would really appreciate it. I'm not really sure what to use for that. And I, I just want to protect them and keep them safe. They're my little chess babies. I also really appreciate you watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you go out there today and make something cool. Have a good one and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.